Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Now, this is actually one of the really, really rare, like, I'm actually very impressed about this one. We're actually now seeing some really big global, like, global changes when it comes to the PlayStation consoles. Now, this is something that's been kind of up and down, like, kind of all over the place. We actually saw a lot of controversy beforehand of the console prices actually going up. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a slightly different thing because this is actually kind of good because we're now actually seeing mass worldwide market price drops going up. And we're going to talk about this, talk about these promotions, and as well, talk about the fact that this is actually affecting almost every single console, and is also really good for the global economy and global Sony ecosystem. So, this is actually, like, insanely kind of big and cool news, so I want to go talk about this. This also especially affects even people in America, so if you guys are American, you guys may have heard of some of these big promotions going on, but as well now, we're also seeing this in other places, such as Japan. India, and I believe also the UK and other European countries in the very near future. So this is good news. This is amazing news. I actually really generally like this, and I'm excited. I think I'm actually kind of pogging up for this one. So let's go and talk about it. As well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. If you guys are bored, we have the Twitch stream down below. Go say what's up. We have the Twitter as well if you guys want to go follow. We'd love to have you guys there. And of course, all these Amazon links, which are going to cover up and have covered up quite a bit throughout these videos, checking them out down below. You can save like $60 on a PlayStation 5 console, just in case you guys have not got one, or as well, go and share these links to with your friends, family, or whoever it might be, and hook them on up, because this is kind of a good deal. So, if you guys remember, like, a little bit of a quick recap over here, we actually saw a really big controversy that Sony themselves rose up the prices of PlayStation 5 consoles. This is in Korea, Australia, India, I believe also in a lot of European countries, I don't believe in the UK, and some other big countries too, mainly for currency inflation, currency routes, uh, price checks, everything else in between, and I don't know, I don't know, just kind of just weird, like a lot of folks are not happy with that, American folks did actually have the nice, normal, same $400, $500 price point, I do know a lot of the people who watch my channel have always been an American side, we have a few like UK folks and all that, but when it does come with everything else with it, I will go and say... <laughs> It was not fun. We don't like seeing price increases, especially with inflation, food inflation, job inflation, shrinkflation, whatever you just want to go and throw in inflation. It's not been a fun time. But right now, first and foremost, if you guys missed this really quickly, we have now seen a $509 console. This will be linked down below in stock. Currently, it's been stocked for the past like uh, day or so. We made a video on it yesterday. This is not the news. Something new has happened, but just a reminder. So in case you guys do want to pick up your console, you got our console for $510 on sale. Maybe a birthday is coming up. Maybe your friends still need a console. I don't know, whatever it might go and be, but uh, as it goes through it, it's good. It's cheap. That's nice. Now, it's only, I think, for the God of War consoles themselves, but if you guys want to, go check them on out. Use the link down below, whatever. So that's number one big thing. I think for the next, like, three weeks or so, as long as stock is available, I do believe Sony is going to be trying their best to go and set the price points for this and make it okay. Now, the part two of this, though, is a more on the global side. The global side is more important to me. Now, if you guys have actually missed this, number one, we're now seeing bigger deals over here in both India. So Sony's latest PlayStation 5, re, obviously restocks, are now going back to the original launch price. So as I mentioned, some point, at some point the consoles were $500 and $400 for disc and digital, and then they bumped up to, let's say, around $550 and around $450 for other regions that is for non Bundles. We kind of basically assumed the bundle consoles were also going to go and, well, uh, what's the word for it? They were basically trying to go, like, kind of subsidize the losses. You can maybe still make a little bit of money. You still get to go and sell a God of War. You still get to get sell, like, Horizon consoles and make money on the digital sales. And that's kind of why they focused on those a lot more here in America as stock was trying to normalize. But now with this, both the disc and digital versions of the PlayStation 5 consoles are now set to go back to their launch pricing. Now, I don't believe this is a 100% permanent thing as of right this second. I think it's a little bit more of a pro thing like how right right here we have the uh, fix, uh, extra $50 off for the God of War consoles kind of like a little bit like the next month promo thing or whatever but basically for this one Sony India has now so this is like fully from Sony themselves has officially confirmed that is reducing the prices as part now of a promotional offer for everywhere. So number one it's already happening in America the link is already down below it is ongoing and that's the same thing for targets Best Buys, uh, Sony Direct, like the PlayStation Direct and everything else. So in their statement, the company said, PlayStation India has announced a special summer promotional offer wherein customers can avail INR $500 off the purchase price of all variants of the PlayStation 5 console. It is confirmed that this is a limited period offer and will be available as of April First. So we're now seeing this for other big major companies, which is big, or like other countries, because this means that the stock price, number one, is normalizing. No one was happy about the price points going up. 
No one is happy about losing more money. No one's happy about having to spend more money, especially when someone out there maybe bought the console for maybe a week before or a month before or on launch period, a little bit cheaper. And as well, the consoles have been cheaper to produce, cheaper to ship and everything else ever since then too as well. So we're seeing all this type of stuff popping up and people are not happy. As well, I'm sure someone bought a console last week and they're now hearing news that they're going to have a cheaper price. They as well are not going to be happy. But with the global economy somewhat calming down, with shipping somewhat calming down, micro, uh, like microprocessors and everything else as well, also somewhat settling down, uh, I think it's kind of cool. So basically it's confirmed that this limited period off will be available starting as of April 1st. So we have an update over here from CC. Update from Sony. PlayStation Indie has announced a special summer promotional offer wherein customers can now basically save around, let's say, $50 or so off the purchase of all variants of the PlayStation 5 console. Once again, all variants. So supply, I think it's more so based around like the normal console. So imagine the normal disc, normal digital, but also may be included for the bundles. We'll have a chance to go and see this whenever it does officially happen in about a week or so. We may give you guys an update video on this one too, because we also are hearing rumors about this happening to other locations and other regions, like I said, such as Australia or Japan or everything else all in between. Very nifty to go and see. They also do have some Steam Deck sales too as well, and also apparently a Resident Evil shortage shoe on top of that. So they also did go in here too as well that we're hearing a lot of these different types of things that they're trying their best to cut down the price of the consoles. And they're also saying that this for two is both the disc and digitals will be reducing their price points too as well. So they say at the time of writing, this is all in regards to India. And like I said, we are hearing rumors and other information popping up for other different locations. This will also be happening there. So at the time of writing the digital version without the disc, Cost around RS44990, which is why I keep saying it's probably around like 50 bucks. Give or, just for easy math, give or take. And the res a regular version of the disc can be purchased for 40, uh, 54,990 RS. Awani states that Sony will soon slash the price of both these consoles down by 5,000. So once again, 40,000 and 50,000 too on top of that. So cool. So you guys know, so the additional edition will be kind of pretty much pretty close to the American price at 400 and disc around 500 or so. And this is also once again kind of reverting the prices back to what they used to be. This was what they originally were. This and then everyone got upset. People got mad about it, et cetera, et cetera. And it was just kind of annoying. Like, I really don't think this was a good call. And I kind of wish more media and outlets and people on Twitter, et cetera, would have called them out more on it. I myself was kind of pretty upset. Although, thankfully and biasly, I am American. So a lot of the folks in my community or on Twitter or on my Twitch stream or whatever didn't really necessarily care too much because, duh, like we're Americans, so our prices never change. But I did also see a lot, of, a lot more outrage on other regions, such as like India or places like, you know, in Japan, where they had to pay more money for the console due to inflation. Although that may have been a good thing at the long run, because maybe that meant the price points may have gone down and it may have meant that they actually had a chance to make more money or whatever it might be. I don't know. But it was very intriguing to see nonetheless. So I want to talk about this too, because it might be something that might be normalizing soon. So as of, like I said, we have never really seen these consoles go down down in price this much. I've never seen the God of War console at $509. That's been very, very crazy too as well. I have no idea. But one of the next bigger things for this one too is the fact that we're seeing more sales, which means in the future, we actually might have a chance to see normal consoles go on sale or have a chance to see the normal digitals go on sale, or as well, sometimes maybe even see more of these things like the Horizon bundles going on sale too. I was kind of saying on my prior videos, it may have just been them overly producing stock, and maybe it's just not moving as quickly. I'd have to see proper information on that though to make that speculation. But I mentioned many times, like I'm sure places like Amazon or Target or Best Buy may have produced way more stock, or maybe just Sony's just trying to get a lot more folks in before the next big major win, such as Final Fantasy 16, because God of War itself is, well, I don't know. It's a good game, but for 10 bucks, I think it's really worth the money. Like, I really do think this is one of the best bundles we've had a chance to go and see and buy. So make sure you guys go check that stock gun out down below. Make sure you guys go pick up the stock if you guys want to and share it up around if you guys would like, because this may not last for a long time. And once again, if it goes out of sale and people don't know how to get it, well, that's just not good. Like, if, there's, if they sell it, you can't do anything with that. So uh, I do think, though, global wise, it should be back and set price down up to $500 price mark. Uh, it's weird that they ever went above that. I understand why they did, and it makes sense for inflation, money, and everything else, supply. But I'm very happy and thankful it looks like they're going back to the norm and going from there. So give me your thoughts and comments, because I don't think this is bad news. I think this is actually really, really good news. I like it. I think the vibe of it, I think Sony's making a good decision. And although it's only a, like a temporary promotional time, if a lot more folks can get their consoles, especially if they're paying attention to the news or Twitter or YouTube videos like this, 
I think that's kind of a nice thing. At the end of the day, I whenever people can save money or get games like God of War for 10 bucks, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, probably a pretty good deal. So like I said, once again, this is linked down below. All the big major retailers here in America have it, and it does seem like other places such as like India and Japan, etc., might also have some nice price decreases coming out very, very soon. And I really like to see this. I think everyone in the Sony community can agree. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. If you guys are bored, swing by the Twitch stream down below. Link down below or follow up the Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I'll leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And let's have a good week. Love you guys.